Hey there, West Michigan. Hope you've had a great weekend so far. I'm meteorologist Michael Barron's. Thanks for watching 13 plus as we head into the second half of the weekend. We're looking at a warmer Sunday, but a day that could start off with some thunderstorms. So make sure you're keeping a close eye on that radar as you head through early tomorrow. But by the afternoon, we could probably see more pictures like we got yesterday. Thanks to Olivia for sending us this lovely photo from West Olive. You can see the sun coming through the clouds Friday evening there over by the water. Gorgeous view and we'll definitely see more of those throughout the next 10 days. Of course, if you have a photo you want to send our way, you can always find me on social media. Meteorologist Michael Barron's on Facebook and at Mike Barron's WX on Twitter and on Instagram. When it came to the temperatures on this Saturday, hit 69 Grand Rapids and Ionia, the same in Muskegon, the lone 70 down in South Haven. Temperatures a little, uh, well, a little above in some spots, but mostly near average for this time of the year. On target forecast, told you 69, hit 69. That is a bullseye for today. Five days in a row now inside three degrees with only two misses in the last month of forecasting. When it comes to tomorrow, look for warmer weather ahead. That's why 13 weather Weather ball is lit up in red a view of the 13 weather ball, of course, sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale and that weather ball blinking bright because rain and some thunderstorms are in sight as we head into tonight. Temperatures as of about 720 were hanging around still close to the highs 60s with South Haven, the only 70. Most of that warm air just to the south of 94 will push our way as we head toward tomorrow. So look for a warmer afternoon winds today coming in from the south, a little breezy. 5 to 15 with some of those gusts up over 20 from time to time as we head through tonight and into tomorrow. The winds calm down some overnight. They'll be back up around 5 to 15 tomorrow. Thunderstorm chances will be best in the early AM hours of Sunday from after midnight through just after sunrise before the rain comes to an end. And again, those things clear out by the afternoon. That'll allow temperatures to rise. In fact, we're expecting 74 for tomorrow afternoon after we get past that morning rain and the afternoon clearing comes through. We start the day around 57 temperatures on Monday, just a touch cooler as rain will be around through most of the daytime hours with temperatures only reaching a high of 69. As of about 720, the rain was mostly to the north of Grand Rapids. There was a shower that was moving through Nuevo Macosta and Montcalm. This first shower moves out in the next couple of hours, but then our eyes turn toward the west where we keep an eye on developing thunderstorms in Wisconsin, stretching back down through northern Missouri where a tornado watch is in place at this hour. We're not really expecting a tornado chance here in West Michigan, but there is a small risk for severe weather that just barely clips into the southwest of Kent County, includes Ottawa County, Van Buren, Kalamazoo, zoo portions of Calhoun. The risk is going to be early Sunday through late Sunday morning where we could see a little bit of rain, wind and ha small hail potential. All of these in the low category as is the confidence in severe weather, but it's something we'll keep an eye on. Nonetheless, the hour by hour forecast tracking that shower pretty well as it moves on out. We're dry through about midnight as we get on the other side of 12 AM. That's when the chances for scattered shower or storm will start to pick back up. You can see that line coming through here. Early Sunday morning, of course, meteorologist Blake Hansen will be in here early to track that with the morning show on Sunday. So do keep in mind that we could see a strong storm out of that line before it pushes through and is gone. By the time we head towards Sunday afternoon, along with the cloud cover, sunshine coming through to end the day as temperatures go into the mid 70s. The cloud cover doesn't stay gone for long. In fact, it's back as we head into Sunday night with things turning partly cloudy and eventually mostly cloudy by early Monday. Monday itself, the cloud cover sticks around throughout the day and here come the showers showers pushing through the daytime hours on Monday going to hold the temperatures down and keep the day kind of dreary to kick off the week. But we push that on out of here as we get into Tuesday. We'll clear the skies out and then we'll see a pretty nice week ahead after the rain that comes through on Monday. Temperatures out there for your Sunday a little bit cooler than today for some on the lake shore will be in the low to mid 60s near the water. Temperatures once you get inland will benefit quite nicely from the afternoon sun hanging around 70 to low 70s from Grand Rapids down to Greenville. Temperatures are big rapids. I should say Grand Rapids 74 we will see temperatures get close to 77 by the time we head down to Kalamazoo 13 on your side 10 day outlook.
Temperatures will cool for the start of the week, hanging around in the 60s, but that's about average for this time of the year. Sunshine starts to warm us up as we head through the midweek and late week. In fact, we get close to 80 by Friday. Temperatures again back down some heading through the weekend with rain showers that develop first on Saturday. More widespread, unfortunately, for Mother's Day. We'll keep an eye on that as we get through this next week. We go into the week after next with cooler weather, but dry weather for days 9 and 10 of the forecast. Now tomorrow marks 20 years since the weather ball first lit up the skies here at 13 on your side and all this past week we've been exploring everything weather ball. We've got three companies that are also helping to honor the 13 weather ball making shirts, donuts and as 13 on your sides morning meteorologist Samantha Jacks got to find out the Mitten Brewing Company has also brewed a 13 weather ball red ale. Today we're getting an inside look at Mitten Brewing Company and what's going into a brand new beer. One just for the Weather Ball's anniversary. Let's get started. In here in the boil kettle with the hops. Mm -hmm. After it's done boiling, we cool it back and we add yeast to it. This is one of Mitten Brewing Company's three main brewers, ready to teach us all about the beer making process. How do you determine how much yeast is going in there? Like how do you, is that all? It's science. Okay. And this beer maker's formula began where all science does. Yes. How did you learn all this? Did you go to school for this? I learned in my basement. <laughs> I, I was a home brewer uh, and then. Well, uh, at home chemistry yeah, action. For sure. 14 years later, the student became the teacher, showing me the ropes to making our very own weather ball brew. Yeah, don't forget the, don't forget the hot. We drafted a formula, and yeast. added some flavors. We're going to do what's called the first wort hop edition. Our a run wort up. hop? Wort. Okay. Wort. What is what we're making? The sugar water is called wort, W-O-R-T. Okay. So we're going to add these hops. These are mosaic hops. Oh, wow. Those are actually pretty, pretty potent. Pretty pungent. You can just toss those right in that kettle right there. Okay, the whole thing? The whole thing. It kind of reminds me of, like, guinea pig food. Yep. And so those will dissolve and those become the bittering and the flavoring components of the beer. Okay. So we're making this weather ball red that's going to be uh, kind of a light hoppy red ale. A quick stir. <laughs> Ready. <laughs> stir it up. Make sure it's good and uh, good and stirred together. It's thick. It's, it's thick. Um, I should have went to the gym last night. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I don't have to go to the gym. And a few more things that, well, I'll let him explain. And we transfer here to one of our primary fermenters where the primary fermentation happens. The yeast turns the sugars into alcohol and carbon dioxide. After that process is done, we come over to here to one of our bright tanks. It's got a flat bottom on it. This is for cold conditioning and carbonation. Uh, we put the right amount of carbonation in there so the beer is nice and fizzy. Then we package it off into kegs or sometimes into cans. And the beer was ready. Weather ball red, cold beer ahead. Cheers. Cheers. You can learn all about the 13 Weather Ball by watching our Weather Ball special. That's on 13 Plus, right here where you're watching right now. And we can also, well, go through a lot of history on the Weather Ball, explaining the colors and everything that goes through maintaining our iconic Weather Ball. You can download 13 Plus on Roku and Fire TV. Then tomorrow, make sure you stop by the Midding Brewing Company. That's where the 13 on your side weather team will be giving off some weather history and doing live weather for our 630 show. And while you're there, you can also pick up some Weather Ball merchandise. It's on sale, including t-shirts, donuts, and of course, that beautiful Weather Ball Red Ale that Sam just showed you guys. The weather's starting to heat up and some are not far away. A new rental service is helping people enjoy time on the lake shore. A kayak kiosk is open for business in Spring Lake. Kayakers can scan a QR code found on the kiosk with their phones and rent a kayak, paddle, and a life jacket. It's next to Tanglefoot Park's dock, making it easy to take into the Grand River. It's meant to help getting on the water more, be more accessible for everyone. So this is a way for people who don't have a kayak or if you're like me and I have kayaks, but they're really hard to bring around if you don't have the right equipment. So um, this is easier. It's easy for people to use and they can do it as long as they want. It costs $5 to unlock the kayak and another $10 for every 30 minutes. Now that you're up to date on the latest forecast for here in West Michigan and some, of course, fun weather ball knowledge. We hope to see you tomorrow at Mitten Brewing Company. That takes place from 5 to 7 o'clock. But if you can't make it out, we'll always be glad to see you right here again on 13 Plus. Thanks for watching. I'm meteorologist Michael Behrens.